Hello everyone, welcome back to Come Out Roll. This video is going to be a little bit different. This one is designed for the person that doesn't play craps yet. Has seen the game, thinks it's interesting, and looks like a lot of fun, because that's where you hear all the noise coming from most of the time in the casino. That's where all the hooping and hollering happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like you've been roaming around the casino, and you have your rack that you've been taking from table game to table game, maybe playing blackjack, or Caribbean stud, something like that. You come up to the crap table when you're, you're scared, you're nervous. Well, here's the first thing to look for. Is there a spot at the table? Normally, it's going to be pretty easy to pick out. Look at the rack, and if you see a hole and there's no chips in it, that's a good spot for you. You're going to be able to just walk up, and you can take your chips out of your rack and put them in the little rack that's built into the rail of the craps table. So now you're at the table. What now? Well, let's pretend like a point's already been set. Okay, so the point is six, and you got you got a guy at the other end of the table that is uh, just a shoot, just a shoot. So what I would suggest is watch the game. Stand there quietly. The dealers aren't going to get on you because a point's on. You know he's going to throw the dice, throw the dice. Oh, not the point. Not the point. That's a five. That's a three. And all this time, people are going to be placing bets. You place your, there's a seven, that's a seven out. All this time, people are going to be putting their hands down on the table, the places where they're allowed to put their hands on. You're allowed to put a chip here or here, but only when this puck, if this says off, okay? That means a point's not established and we're not in play. You can put money here, but you only want to do that really after a point you can do it anytime that's just my personal preference and you can lay chips here you can tell the dealer that you want a don't uh, a, a don't don't come but that's advanced we're not going to deal with that so the puck is off the dice are passed to the next individual at this they're only passed when play is ready to commence. Until then, the dice man, or the stick man, will keep the dice in his possession like this, while everyone's placing their bets, getting ready for the next round. No just for shuffle them or whatever. Um, so at this point, what's going to happen is, you're going to take your, your denomination, you have to look, there's a placard on the table to say what the, what the denomination is. Most likely it's a 5 or $10 table. So, you want to get in on the game. You want to see and play. So you have two options. You have the pass line, which means you think basically the players at the table are going to win. Or you have the don't pass bar, which means you think the house is going to win. Uh, the, the odds are in favor here on the don't pass bar. But I will tell you, you'll see that most of your players around you are playing the pass bar, which we call the light side or the right side. The don't pass is the wrong side or the dark side. Now, you will have people that play Don't Pass, and if you do want to play it, that's great. It's your choice. This is a game that you can play the way you like. However, if you win on the Don't Pass bar, don't get excited and start hooping and hollering because most likely everyone else at the table just lost, and they could have lost a lot of money. So that's sort of an unwritten rule of craps so when you're playing Don't Pass. You'll be conserve, conservative, very quiet, and just play your game. When you're on the pass line, which most people will be, you can hoop and holler all you want to. So now what's going to happen is you put your $5 on the pass line, and the stick man passes a bunch of dice to the what we call shooter. That's whose ever turn it is. It goes around the table in a clockwise motion. So eventually, it will be your turn to shoot if you want to hold the dice. If you don't, you can just say pass, and they'll go to the next player. So this guy comes in. He picks his two dice that he likes. Now this is called a come out roll, hence the name of my channel. So they're going to take the dice, see the puck is off, they're going to throw the dice. All right, so he threw a six, seven, eight. Now they're going to slide this puck over to on eight. That tells us our point is eight. So at this point, we want that guy rolling the dice or lady rolling the dice to get an eight before seven rolls. That way, everyone on the pass line wins. Now, but if they roll a seven before the before the eight, that means everybody on the pass line loses and the people on the don't pass the bar win. It's up and down. Some points are easier to hit than others. Uh, just look at the amount of combinations on the dice. There's much fewer combinations on the dice to make a four and five than there is to make a six or eight. 
which means the odds are more in your favor of the shooter hitting it because there's just more combinations on the dice. So we're going to play a, a fake round here. And basically, all you're going to do is your $5 pass bet. So you're going to stand at this point and just wait. All right, there's a six. You'll see a lot of people will have money on that six. So this is going to take a minute. You're not going to get the get the next roll immediately. That's one of the good things about craps. It takes a while to play. It's not like blackjack where they can get 70 hands an hour. And you can go from $300 to none in 15 minutes. So everybody's placed their bets. Everybody's ready. We'll roll the dice again. Okay, this time it's a five. So again, still not the point. All right, we'll roll the dice again. Oh, seven. Seven out. What that means is, is we did not roll an eight before that seven. So... Everybody's pass line bet loses, and it goes back to the bank. So now you're thinking, well, this game sucks. I don't like this. This isn't very fun. Well, stick with it for a few minutes, okay? Take 100 bucks to invest. It's not a lot of money, but I tell you, if you listen to what we're teaching you here, you can play for a very long time on 100 bucks. So this time what you're going to do is you're going to take your $5, go put it back on the pass line. Everybody else is going to make their bets, and the, the, whole sh the whole schmeal with the dice again, the guy's going to finally get the dice and be ready to shoot. This puck will be the off. He's going to go ahead and shoot. All right, so the point's a six. I'm going to take this puck again, move it over to the six, just like they did before. Now, um, the best two bets you can make as a new player, other than the pass line, is the six and eight. Now, you already have the six on the pass line, so it might get a little complicated if you want to really bet both of them. We're going to keep it simple for now. So we already have money riding on the six from our pass line. We're going to give the dealer, assuming this is a $5 table, we're going to take $6 out of our rack, six bucks, and we're going to put it on the table. The dealer's going to look at you, and you're going to say, please place the eight. You're going to put that money on the eight, and then you'll see a bunch of other people doing it. If you watch for a while, you'll kind of get the, the hang of how it works. So now everybody's ready. We're going to roll again. Okay, it's a six, so we made our point. The puck will go off. The dealer will pay everyone on the table. He'll get around to you, and he'll say, there's your winnings. So at that point, you can pick that up and put it back in your rack, and you're ready for the next roll. Now, when this puck is off, so is this bet. Um, that means if a seven rolls right now, it's safe. Nothing will happen, you won't lose it. But if a seven rolls right now, seven or 11, you're gonna win another pass line bet because a seven on the come out roll is an instant winner as is an 11. Okay. So we're going to take the dice. We're going to roll. Okay. Looks like our point's going to be a five. Everybody's ready. So now at this point, you see you have money on the five and you have money on the six. Most people will go ahead and take another $6 out of their bankroll and they'll put $6 on the six. So at this point, this is about the most um, new players will bet at any one given time. All right, came up a hard four, so that's no good for, for us. Up, oh, there's a four, five, six, seven out. So what that means is, is the puck goes off, and this time we have bad luck. They're going to take our 15, 17 dollars. They own that now, but it's only 17 bucks. So here's what we're going to do. We probably have the hang of this by now. We're going to put down a pass line bet only because the puck is off. We'll wait for them to establish a point. That's what it's called. Oh, look, seven, seven rolled. If you remember correctly, that means we win instantly. So there you go. And seven has the highest odds to roll. Sorry, I took that out of the player's bankroll. Seven has the, the highest odds to roll of anything because it has the most combinations. That's why you will see a lot of people with a lot of money on this pass line. Um, you go there at the right times, you'll see two, three, four hundred dollars uh, on the pass line because it's based that bases how much you can bet in odds. But that's a story for another day. All right, this time we got a nine, so the point's going to be nine. We're going to go ahead and pull twelve bucks out of our rack. We're going to ask the dealer to place the six and eight, please. We'll place them just like that. Everyone else will make their bets. And then we're going to go ahead and roll. The player will roll whoever has the dice. He rolls a five. He rolls another five. Fives are hot today. All right, 
rolls a 10. 5 again. Wow. Unlikely rolling pattern. 7. 7 out. That's a 7. So, again, there goes our 17 bucks. And you're thinking, geez Louise, I mean, all that, and it's just gone. Well, just, just stick with it. Because this does go way slower than I'm portraying it. This is just for demonstration purposes. So we're set up again, ready for the come out. All right, it's a seven. Automatic winner for you. Rack up that five dollars. And let's roll again. This time it's a ten. Hard ten. That makes a difference for these over here. But again, we're not going to worry about those today. If you guys enjoy this video and you're interested in a more advanced class, please drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments so I know that this is something you would be interested in. All right, so we have our point established. Comes a yellow 11. Um, normally, you would have went ahead and put out your $12. I just got ahead of myself thinking about the next video possibility. All right, now we got our 6 and 8 and our pass line. So we have money on the 10, 6, and 8. All right, there's the 8. It finally happened. So at this point, you're rolling eight. The dealer is going to pay you $7. So at this point, he'll give you that money and you can rack it straight up. And the nice thing is, is this is still working. So if this guy rolls 10 eights in a row, you're going to get paid 10 times in a row. Six, seven, eight. That's going to pay another $7. Now you might start to see why this game can be exciting and fun. On this bet, you know, let's say he rolled several eights, and you're like, that's ah, awesome. But then you get skittish and say, seven's coming. I can feel it. All you have to do is tell the dealer one of two things on your bet. They can be off, and then he'll turn them off and leave them here. So if a seven rolls, they're safe, just like when the puck says off. Or you can tell the dealer to take you down. Tell the dealer that. He's going to give you back your chips, and you can rack them, and then you're uh, not out of the game. You're just securing that uh, $12 back. And then you can decide to put it somewhere else or whatever you want to do. All right, we got a six. Well, there is another $7 winner for you. There's an eight. Another $7 winner for you. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, well, now this does look kind of fun. And it is. It's, it's very fun. This is a great game. There's a reason why that's where the most noise is in the casino. There's a nine. That's no help to any of us, but they, you know, that was quite a run you went on there. Uh, you probably picked up $35, $40. There's a hard four. Anybody with a hard four is really yelling right now. There's a yo. That's an 11. Makes no difference to us. Great on the come out roll. There's a six, four, 10. We hit our point. There we go. Ooh, yikes. Six, four, ten. So the dealer's going to pay everyone. Go ahead and give me your five dollars. Now, granted, keeping in mind, at this point, all these rolls I've done, you've probably been at the table for at least a half an hour. Getting free drinks if you're in Vegas. Uh, earning comp points towards your hotel stay or dinner or whatever. It's a six. The point's going to be six. Now, of course, you don't get paid this time because when you come out roll, those bets are off. So they're protected. But if you feel like he's going to roll a six or eight, you got a gut instinct or something like that, all you have to say is, dealer, my bets are on. Then all of a sudden, those bets are active, even on the come out roll. Midnight, box cars makes no difference to us. Has the point's been established. Seven, seven out. So that roller, that, uh, that guy rolling the dice or that lady rolling the dice, their turn is over. So at this point, they're going to rack up and reset. Uh-oh, looky here. It's now your turn to shoot the dice. So at this point, as I explained earlier, you have a choice. Are you going to participate by throwing the dice, or are you going to pass the dice? I suggest you throw the dice. It's going to cost five bucks to play just like any other time. Maybe you were good at Monopoly and you've got a lot of good numbers. You know, it's just fun. And if the people at the table know you're a first-timer, 
uh, they're going to get a kick out of it because first timers seem to have good luck. I don't know why that is. That was a six. It rolled 2.6. I don't know why first timers have good luck, but they do. It was true for me too. All right, there we go. So we have your three bets up again. At uh, at most, we have seventeen dollars at risk. That's you can see. That's why you can play for so long at craps on a hundred dollar bankroll. All right, look at there. It's a three three six hard six. This is really sweet. Uh, the dealer might look at you funny if you put it up like that since you have it on the pass line. I do anyway because I love the double payday. So what you're going to get here is you're going to get seven dollars for your six, like that. And then six is the point. That's going to come off. And you're going to get another nickel down here for hitting the point. Look at there. I told you you would have good luck on your first roll. So at this point, the puck is off. And our bets are off. So at this point, we're feeling, we're feeling pretty good. We're going to say, dealer, turn our bets on. Now, this is completely your option. You don't have to do this. It's not a rule that you have to. It's just if you feel lucky, go ahead and do it. So, dealer, my bets are on. And look, the point's a six, so we're going to land on the six. The six is going to go ahead and pay us $7 straight out. There we go. All right, so let's steal your turn. That's going to be a yo, yo 11. Land it on its side, that's a yo. Oh, seven out. Okay, so puck's gonna go off. Dealer's gonna grab your chips and put them in his bank. Okay, so at this point, you have a basic understanding of how the game of craps works. So if you walk up to the table, you don't have to, to worry and, and have that apprehension. You kind of have an idea of what to expect and how to handle yourself once you're there. Let's see how you did. You know, I didn't count this up before we started, but you had several good hits. One, two, three, four, five. And it's 25. That's 50. That's uh there we go. That's uh, 50, that's 75. 81 bucks. I think you started your bankroll with about 50 or 60, and then you had all those losses, but look, you came back, you played all that time. And you have a good bankroll. Now, there is one other scenario I want to talk to you about before I let you go. That's, uh, say you haven't been cruising around the uh, casino and have a chip full of racks from playing other games. You know, uh, say you're, you're just coming and all you have is money. Cash. That's all they accept is cash. You can't use a credit card at the table. Uh, you probably already knew that, but I like to, to make sure that I explain that. So all you have to do is you walk up to the table, how much ever you want to buy in for, and whatever you buy in for will affect the way they rank you on your comps. If you buy in for 100 bucks like me, you're going to be considered a roll, low, roll lower immediately and get a lower tier. Say you buy in for 1000 bucks, doesn't mean you're going to spend 1000 bucks. you just buy in for 1000 bucks. Whatever the total is, just take your player's card, put it with your money, and place it on the table. You cannot hand it directly to a dealer. They will not do that. They'll tell you to put it on the table. So if you walk up and just lay your money on the table with your player's card, you're already going to look like you've been there before, which is what this video is all about, getting you comfortable, making it uh, kind of seamless to get in and play this game that we all love. You do that. You hand them your money. Say, you know, you handed them 100 bucks. They're going to go to the bank, and they're going to count out 100 bucks. 50... Okay, 75, 80, 90, and then they're always going to give you some ones. There we go. They'll give you your tips like that. Um, you know, they'll they'll put them to you. At which point you can pick them up and stick them in the rack that's built into the arm rail of the of the actual craps table itself. So again, my name's Mike for Come Out Roll. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. This is a new channel. We do need subscribers. Um, we're trying to get together to have 
uh, tournaments for crafts, but of course to have players, I have to have subscribers because that's where the player base for the tournaments is going to come from. Anyway, remember, just because you play a lot doesn't mean you have to lose a lot. Have a great day and good luck.